Charles Nungesser of France was 23 years old when he shot down his first plane, a German Albatross fighter aircraft. The year was 1915, a year into World War I. By the time World War I was over, Nungesser would accrue 45 official victories in the air, the third highest amongst the French Flying Service. Similar to the perception of Top Gun pilots of Hollywood, Nungesser was known for his flamboyant personality, his appetite for danger, women, wine, and his dislike of military brass. Suffice to say, his commanding officers weren't enthralled with him, but his comrades and fellow pilots revered him. In 1916, as his prowess as a top-notch fighter pilot continued, Nungesser notched 21 more aerial victories, including downing several German aces. Nungesser was officially an ace pilot by now, and known by his new nickname, the Knight of Death. Along with the new moniker came a new airplane insignia that he painted himself on his Newport 25 aircraft. A large heart with a black and white outline, a skull with a bullet hole under a coffin, a pair of crossbones, and two funeral candlesticks. He thought the insignia would scare his German opponents. Nungesser's mastery of the sky came at a cost. He was injured numerous times while flying and suffered a litany of injuries including a skull fracture, brain concussion, internal injuries, multiple fractures to the jaw, piece of anti-aircraft shrapnel embedded in his right arm, bullet wounds in both the mouth and the ear, loss of teeth, and numerous contusions, just to name a few. In August 1917, Nungesser was severely injured in his final aerial combat mission, so serious that he was forced to quit flying for the French Flying Service. Following the war, Nungesser and renowned pilot Francois Coley began planning a transatlantic flight from Paris to New York, which had never been done before. The two men took off on May 8, 1927, piloting the Loisseau Blanc, or White Bird. Their plane was last seen near Ireland, but the two men never made it to New York, and the plane has never been found. One theory floated around had their plane shot down by the Coast Guard as possible bootleggers as they approached the Newfoundland coast. Charles Nungesser died the way he liked to live, as a tough, tenacious fighter, always pushing the boundaries. And as a footnote, Charles Eugene Jules Marie Nungesser was none other than the great-great-uncle of Louisiana's own Billy Nungesser. <laughs>